If you haven't already, consider becoming a Patreon. And remember, guys, for just $5, and if you DM me on Instagram, you get a shout-out in the next video. Peace! What's up, Turner fam? So, so today I'm gonna show y'all every spot. Well, not, I mean, you might not see every spot, but I'm, I'm mainly gonna fish where uh, I said to fish in my spot shown number two. So I'm in Buffalo Creek, I'm gonna fish those spots. We're gonna see if we can figure out some kind of pattern. Probably going to be a lipless crankbait or top water, depending on how much bait we can find. But if you haven't already, check that video out after this one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free, just like you watching this video. It's completely free. So I'm giving you free knowledge. You give me that subscriber. Anyway, guys, let's go find some fish. Yee! but he's right up around his dock. Oh, I don't know how big he is. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Nice first fish. Good three pounder. Need him. Ah, uh, a pound. Pound and a half. I'm barely hooked to I know what you're thinking, Steven. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Why are you throwing a Texas rig? Well, I've been throwing the lipless and top water for like an hour or two. And I've only got one bite on them. There was a dock over there. I don't know if I put the clip in or not, but I had a bite, so... Any dock I come across, I'm gonna throw it on there. Got number one of the day. So the reason I picked up the Texas rig is they uh there's a lot of shad on the banks, but there's nothing busting on them. And the first spot I went, there were a lot of bait fish. I need new worm, but there were a lot of bait fish there. But they were just not like I don't know how to explain it but they weren't keyed in on them it's like this little cold front we have has got them sitting on the bottom so that's why I picked it up I mean when the sun comes up just a little bit it should get you know some normal lipless crankbait top water but y'all know me they're gonna bite the Texas rig really. Is on. That's a pretty decent start. 15 inch fish. I mean, it's a good tournament fish. Right off the bat. I mean, you might have to call him later, but definitely ain't going to complain. Let's see if we can get another one. I might run down these docks and just to see what's going on with them. Cause that's literally the second dock, second bite. I mean, you can't force a pattern, but you can make one, I guess. <clears throat> Number two, little guy. I think we don't figure something out, guys. That's like the fifth dock since I caught the last one. Yeah, you need a keeper, but it's definitely a bite. How many I can pull off these dots coming through here? Well, let's find out. That's a bite right there. <laughs> All right. 
again, another one bites the dust. Not a keep, not a keep. That's number three. Oh, and that's one dock down from the last fish. Well, well, well. Run into me. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice fish, nice fish. They've been on the, the end of these docks. Like, I haven't caught one in between the dock at all. Everyone's been on the end of it. If that makes sense to y'all. I gotta get my pliers. Alright, nice little 13 incher. Not a keeper. Oh, but they're definitely biting. There's a lot more bait activity back here. Like, I'm gonna try to lip with for a little bit too. See if I can't get one on it. They definitely loving the black trick worm this morning. Surprisingly. I mean, I definitely didn't think I was going to be throwing this, which is why the Texas rig is rigged on this rod. Because normally I have it on my blue rod, but I got a freak on the blue rod right now. But, you never know. But, they should heat up. Water temps then went up a, a degrees already. It was 68. When I got here, now it's 70. So, hopefully we can find some bigger ones. That'd be nice. But I'll take it. We definitely catching them. But I caught him on the end of this dock. There was some bait fish over there. And as soon as they hit the bottom, it was thump, thump, thump. So I went to the other side and I fished all these docks right here and all I, all I can really figure out is that side had pea gravel, this side doesn't. So, but I'm in a hunt for a five fish limit, 14 inches. I'm gonna try out some other spots that's got some hard bottom. I'm gonna head to the islands, try them. Try to find some bigger fish, but if all pans out, I'll find some more pea gravel docks. <laughs> Oh, we're putting something together though. I mean, four fish, ain't nothing. You can't complain about that. Not at all. But I'm gonna head to the islands out here. See if I can't get a old slunk donkasaurus. First cast. First cast out here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, they're not coming up after these bait fish. Got to stay down low. Another one. Still not a bigger one. But uh, technically it's number five for the day. Healthy fish. But that, was, that was the first cast out here. So, might be something coming on. <sighs> Finally got one on the lipless. Another little guy though. <laughs> Calm down, man. <sighs> that makes number six or seven. Went back to where I found the fish this morning. So I'm hoping they're more active now. I mean, 
and sometimes it's all about timing. <clears throat> There's a lot of fish on the graph this morning, but just couldn't get on a bite. One just hit it right there. Not slacking my line. There he is. Little striper. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Let me get my pair of pliers. <laughs> Alright, there you go guys. Little bit of striper. Freaking knocked the fire out of that thing. That might have been what not slacking my line. I don't know what this one is. Oh, the bass. Nice little bass. Same point, three fish. Oh, welcome to fall. <laughs> that was a nice little one pounder. Not big enough for a limit though. Makes number eight. Still having fun. I mean, I don't care if I get a limit or not. Well, you know, I keep a limit, 14 inches tournament limit. I didn't know I had the camera on. <laughs> that one got off. That would felt like a bigger fish. I wouldn't have lost that fish if I wouldn't have been messing with the camera. But the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> All the babies today. It's fun though. Back, we back. So, I backlash really bad. I had to put a new line <laughs> on my my casting reel. So while I was doing that, a whole flock of bass boats just took over every single point around me. So, nah. Steven don't play that. So, y'all can have them. They weren't big fish anyway. So, I retied up. Put on a spinnerbait. I'm going to run down this bank right here. See if we can't find something bigger. Like... Seven bass, two striper, and a pickerel. That's a good day, but I, I just I want to find something a little bit bigger. And if we don't, we don't fish for about two more hours, and we gonna see. You know, all the other people took all the points over there, but they ain't got no schooling fish over there. They came up three times over here. We about to hook into one of these things. Had to tie the lipless back on. This water is crystal clear right here. So that spinnerbait just ain't gonna work because they're gonna be able to see that spinnerbait real good. <clears throat> Keep the camera rolling, see if I can't hook into one. There we go. <laughs> Told you I'd get one of these school fish. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, feist that thing. Oh, we got my shirt.
Oh man, it's my turn of fishing apparel. You're gonna get it with the lipless. Nice fat fish. Let's get another one. Man, today was an awesome day on the water. I ended up losing the bait and I couldn't find them. I don't know where they went. <laughs> but we caught, I don't know, eight or nine fish. You know, as a crappy, that wouldn't be that good, but bass fishing, it's pretty good. As always, guys, introduce somebody to my channel, share it on your Facebook, and as always, yee yeah, yeah.